Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I am the founder and owner of Tech Reviews and Up and today I'm going to talk about a article that just came out in Pop Popular Science and this article just came out within the past few minutes. Now, as far as this article goes, they they don't really explain what's going on in the videos and pictures, but I can because, believe it or not, aerospace, my aerospace degree, they taught us fluid dynamics and also in basic life even doing house repairs and whatnot I've noticed things like water cohesion and stuff like that so I'm able to actually tell you and give you real world examples like um, seeing it on roofs and whatnot now as far as what this article is basically about someone poured some water from a clean pot in a glass of tea full of tea leaves that person noticed the water if you see these arrows uh, the water was going down in the middle and it was coming up on the sides which brought up the uh, tea leaves now they got a little video on it so let me show you it and let me see if we can get back to the start I got the sound off it's no real point having sound on now one thing before I start the video notice the middle it stays pretty much clear most of the time a few times sparkles go through it but for the most part it's clear right now but you'll notice especially right here on this end because it's too dark over here you'll notice that the particles and this being chalk particles on this one goes up and some of them go around and goes into the middle and some some of them spin right there so let's play this for one go around and you'll see it right there where now they're starting to go up and they're following that path that I was just talking about and some of them are spinning right there so why is this happening well there's something called water cohesion and water adhesion water cohesion and I got a perfect link and perfect article on exactly this thing and I will have the link to the Popular Science article in the description. But as far as what water cohesion is, it's when water sticks to water. And basically water particles are very, very small. And when water sticks to water, it can cause water to go uphill. And um, it can cause it to define gravity in a sense. Now, here's the thing, water cohesion, it's, uh, it doesn't have to be water. We've seen this with, and I, what I mean, we, I mean, as a society, we've seen this with other liquids. Let's talk about fuel. A lot of people have siphon out fuel. Well, siphoning is part of cohesion. I mean, it does, it requires several other things but cohesion because who, whoever actually and if, if you ever siphon out something you you probably could agree to this when you start a siphon it, it's it's hard um you may have thought it you know continued and and whatnot after you got started did vacuum and that's not really 100 percent true it's it has to deal with gravity and cohesion but um as far as siphoning Basically, when you siphon something, usually you have to stick a pipe or a tube down something. So that means the tube automatically is facing downwards and it's going up. It can be going up a couple of inches, a foot, or more. Then the tube will be going curve downwards and then it can curve up and curve down again. So the curve down will be the slack and the curve up will be just going up into a bucket or a maybe another car or whatever it may be and then the curve down will be the tube going in the bucket or whatever it may be so usually whenever we do siphon something saying if we're doing a tube and not using a their mechanical device to use a vacuum the uh, tube will have to be up, so it goes up, goes down, and then back up. 
and then when it starts we put it down into the bucket or whatever it's a little complicated but um, if you ever done it or if you ever watch someone do it you'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about now we all know it's hard to start a siphon at least those of us that's actually done siphoning of either siphoning the fish tank siphoning gas scans uh, whatever it may be and the reason is is you're trying to get the liquid to define gravity and normally liquid tries to go to the least path of resistance and this usually means obeying gravity and the thing is is once you get it started it's hard to stop it so that's, that's one thing to note it's very important to note so when you get it started what happens is the water or liquid goes up goes down and uh, then when it goes up again it goes down basically when the water gets enough speed or liquid it, there is a cohesion automatically there now the cohesion sticks there as long as the resistance is not greater than the cohesion so once your resistance say for example if um, the resistance of the down force is greater than the up force it will stop an up force and that the cohesion will be done so that's that's also important to note now when the cohesion goes up and it goes down with a speed the resistance is removed there because you got a speed behind the cohesion and the liquid has a cohesion it goes down and when it goes down into the bucket it can break apart because the resistance is added right there because you have space and inside of the tube the cohesion is greater outside of the tube it goes away and the resistance part comes apart in fact believe it or not and I know I probably lost a lot of people during this but believe it or not, the cohesion does cause water droplets itself that you do see, either in some type of stream or whatever it may be. So that's also interesting to note and uh, important to note. So when a cohesion goes down and um, being on whatever liquid, you may notice it coming out either in a stream or in blobs, meaning drops or whatnot and uh, those drops are a cohesion now another way i can give an example and a a better way i can give example we all seen when we have a shower going off and we turn it off once in a while we have drops coming out of the shower head now you might have seen the drop slowly grow and then just fall down same principle it's a cohesion and it's a mixture of adhesion the adhesion is the mixture uh, i mean it's the um, sticking to the actual surface that's not water or the same liquid so the adhesion keeps it there but the cohesion basically when the cohesion gathers enough of the liquid together and um, it overcomes the both the cohesion and the adhesion the, you get the water droplet falling. In other words, if the cohesion was greater than the um, you know the the resistance, the water or whatever liquid was stated on the shower head, and if the adhesion, if if say for example if the cohesion was greater than the adhesion and whatnot basically all the water will come out and you'll get a dry surface and i've i've seen this and and people have used this for bird baths and whatnot to dry out a bird bath with the use of water it's possible by making the uh, adhesion you know less likely than the the cohesion but let's say the adhesion is more there than the cohesion. That's when you get the water still being on there so the shower head stays wet. And um, and if you don't have enough liquid there, enough cohesion there, then you can't get the droplet. So I am going to post 
the actual link to the articles and the article talking about cohesion and adhesion and it's it explains a lot more than I did but anyways this has been Craig Bennett and I hope you have a great day and also if you have any questions leave them in the comments and also you can leave them in the emails